Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the freaking most requested video on my freaking channel. Ever since this product came out, I have been receiving buku comments about it and we're just gonna dive right in and see what it's all about. I'm going to try to wear this glue for a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to wear it for a good two to three days um, and just really get a feel of it. I'm not too familiar with it, to be honest with you. I've just been seeing a lot of people um, review it. So I don't know a lot. So I'm gonna read the instructions, you know, go all through everything. So it did come in this little package right here. So I understand, one thing that I know is that they have different steps to this. As far as they have three different ones. They have, a, well, two. They have the firm and the absolute, okay? So I think one is stronger than the other, and they also have the remover, okay? So y'all know I'm not a big fan of glue, but that's just because, like, I don't keep my wigs on uh, for a long period of time, and also with me not keeping my wigs on for a long period of time, glue is just sometimes a hassle to get off of the lace, to get off of your skin. It's just really harsh on edges. But this is supposed to be like something new and revolutionary, so we're gonna see what it's all about. They give you like a little instruction manual on how to apply it, which is a really good thing. So we are going to follow those instructions. So this is what they sent me. These are the two products that they sent so I got the absolute they didn't send the firm they sent the absolute and this is the lace wig bond remover now first off now I have not used any of this stuff yet haven't touched it yet right off the bat I'm really happy they sent a, remo a remover that just makes things so much easier because glue can be really 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 hard to get off so big big um thumbs up on that and we are going to test this out give it a good go and see you know how it really works so let me get into reading the instructions for this guys and I'll be All right, let's read the directions together guys okay it says shake well make sure to remove all oil and makeup residues on application area, apply a thin layer of Isha Lace Bun Glue evenly around the hairline. When the glue becomes tacky, approximately 30 seconds, apply lace wig on application area and press for one minute or until, until firmly in place. Make sure the Isha, Isha Lace Bun Glue is dry before applying an additional coat for extra strength, okay? You can control the strength by applying an additional coat. All right, so basically it's saying that, like I said, you can control the strength. So if you can control the strength, would it really matter if you got the firm, like the the tougher one instead of this one? I don't know. We're, we'll try it out and we'll see. I can't really compare the two because I only have this one. All right. So anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and try it out. Yep, you all already know. I pretty much know how to apply glue so I do have a spray bottle with my 91% alcohol in it I'm gonna clean my hairline area and also kind of wipe off my fingers to make sure all the grease and all the oils are off my fingers and then we'll get started with the layers okay now what I think I'm going to do is just apply one layer like one thick layer I don't think I'm gonna apply like a lot of layers because I think one thick layer would be would be good it says you can control the strength of it so if you would want it to be tougher then you would just keep applying layer after layer after layer okay so yeah I'll be back All right, hey guys, so I've already applied, where is it? Jesus Christ, oh, here we go, sorry. I've already applied the Isha glue and I'm about to start styling this hair. Now, right off of the bat, now it does have a scent, it does smell like uh, the Elmer's blue glue, just like any other glue, okay? So it does have a scent, but it did go on like this purplish looking color, which is kind of like, I don't know. It, that's not how any of the other ones went on. Any of the other glues that I've tried. So you guys saw I only used one layer, okay? And when I smoothed it out with my fingers before anyone asked, I did make sure um, my fingers were uh, wiped off with the alcohol, okay? So I didn't have any oils on my finger or anything like that. But I used one layer because I don't really want a super, super, super hold. Like it says, you can manage what type of hold you get. So I don't want my hold to be like, 
you know, too much because I don't want to keep this wig on for too long, okay? Right off the bat, guys, this, it feels very, very secure, okay? It feels very secure. So, it's like, even, like, tugging at it and everything, like, I am tugging this, this wig is super secure. Like, it's not going anywhere, <laughs> okay? So, it's, my wig is on here. Like, my wig is on here. And like I said, I use such a thin layer. Like, such a thin layer. But we're going to see how long it is going to last. All right? But that's right now. It's on here. Now, in the instructions, I'm going to read back over them again. But I didn't see anything about this glue being, like, waterproof or anything like that. So, yeah. I don't know about any of that. But you guys know that I will put it to the test. Not right now. Probably in a couple days. Like, I normally do the glues. I'll put it to the test and just see, you know, if it is waterproof or whatever the case may be. So, anyways. Yeah, y'all. I'll be doing a few check-ins here and there. And, yeah. I'll see y'all in my next check-in. So, I am ready to do a full, full, full rundown and review on this Isha glue. Okay, OMG, Jesus, Jesus. First off, let me address this. If you do see some peeling on my face, um, I have to use this certain cream on my face and it does make my face peel and it's just peeling. So, just, I'm aware of it. Anyways, let's get on into the review. So, this company actually sent me these products. I'm not getting paid to do this review or anything like that. I was just sent for my honest opinion. That's it. I did not cut me a check or anything. Okay, I just sent sent this product to try it, which I am happy that it was sent to me to, to try because you guys know, like, I'm not really on the glue train like talking about and, but I do like to try new stuff and I was going to buy it anyway. It was on my cart. Uh, it was in my cart on like eBay and I just never got around to it. It's a lot of things in my cart. So anyways, let's cut to the chase. So they sent me the absolute and then they sent me the remover spray love 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 that they sent me the remover spray we are going to be testing this out now guys i'm not even gonna lie i was like okay i'm gonna try this to glue out for two days and we're gonna see how this goes okay so after the two days passed by i was like you know what let me go a little longer and that's what i did y'all this is day five this okay of where now i have really took this through the rain mm. And I can really let y'all know the ins and outs of this glue. Like, for real. I have not re-glued this unit down or anything. As this side ain't budging. This side ain't budging. But this side is definitely loose. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of insight. So, since I really wanted to put this through the ringer, okay, I was really being rough with this glue. I was being super rough, okay? So, I wore it for... Well, I'll say six days because after 12, but we can say five. Five days straight, okay? Five days straight. I only wore a headscarf for two of those days because I just really wanted to test it out. <laughs> so I only wore a headscarf for two of the days, including when I got in the shower, okay? So two of the days, I wore a headscarf when I got in the shower, and the rest of the three days, I did not put on the scarf, okay? Because I just, I mean... I didn't know if it was, it didn't say waterproof. Like, I can't even find the instruction handbook. I don't think it said waterproof in the little pamphlet they um sent me. And I don't even think it says waterproof on here. But I just wanted to test it out to see, you know, is it waterproof? Is it steam proof? I just want to see. Now, I did not dunk my head in any water. I see, I've seen some videos. I'm sorry, my business is all in the streets. I've seen some videos where the people were dunking their head in water. I wasn't, or like, spraying water all over the head i i didn't do that i wasn't doing that but i did get in the shower and i did wash my face okay so you guys know like when you have a frontal sometimes it's hard to like wash your face so i made sure i got in there and i washed my face like this and when i got out of the shower i still had a hold a hold like it was not loose or anything so it was kind of puzzling to me even on this side i'm still experiencing a tight firm hold so i was just like mm, okay you know we'll see you know so the first day that i did that which will be the third day because that's the third day was the day that i had um I got in the shower without a head scarf because the first two days I did head scarf when I went to bed and to take a shower. The three days, um, because I did for five days straight. 
the three days I didn't do um didn't do a shower cap or, or bandana or anything around my head, even when I went to sleep. But I was like, okay, we'll see how it goes the next couple days. And I didn't experience any lifting or anything. I mean, it, it was kind of crazy. I didn't even get it to like loosen up a bit. I didn't get like that. Normally when I get in the shower with regular glue, this is how my hair looks. It has that gummy film and it just looks weird. But see, it didn't do that. It really didn't do that. And this is day five. And this is what it looks like now. Day five. Okay. But I would say five days. And I really have not been tying this. I hadn't tied it down in three days. And I've taken a shower with this. Washing my head, washing my face like this and around my hairline. And it is steam has gotten to it. And I've been really out in the element. And this hasn't budged. I would say this is pretty good. Okay. Like, I mean... I'm not really like a glue person because I think glue is just really harsh. But if you're the type of person that keep your units on for a while and you're really looking for a pretty okay glue, I think this is good. Now on on this absolute on the back of the bottle, it does say it does say you can control the strength by applying an additional coat. I only did one coat. I, I I mean you can build it. Basically saying you can build it up. My thing is, if you can build it up, is it really a reason to have a firm? I don't know. Maybe the firm is just a lot stronger, and maybe you don't. You just add one one coat and you're done. I don't know. But anyway, with this, um, I only did one coat. I don't, y'all know, I don't layer or whatever. I did one coat. I don't want all that glue on my layer line and stuff because I know how how tough some glue can be. So I didn't layer. I just put one one coat on there, spread it out, let it dry, and I put my wig on. And like I said, it's this five days five days so i mean take it for what it is but i really y'all i really was trying to test this out like for real, i was like i'm not we fist to get in the shower we're gonna see like what's up what's goody and all that but anyways we're we are going to take it off together i'm going to see what this spray is all about <sighs> to be honest i'm not really too excited about the spray a lot of companies come out with sprays and things like that and they just don't really work i do still have my 91 percent alcohol off to the side because i feel like this is the only thing that takes glue off now if this works okay they really gonna get a thumbs up from me because you know glue is very very tough to get off the hairline so we're going to see and um try to take it off and then we'll just okay see guys i wanted to love this glue so much well glue remover i'm sorry so much but as far as taking off the wig it was great but taking off the extra residue was just like taking off off any other type of glue you know how it is very sticky very gummy and it was super hard to take this stuff off omg it took me forever i had to go in with my 91 percent alcohol to get off the extra residue with this glue, you will get a nice hole, but as far as the takedown, it's the same as any other wig glue, okay? So take that for what it is. Nice hole, but it's just very, very harsh. This this really did melt that glue. That's the perfect word for it. It melted that glue, but with melting it, it made it like really, really gummy-like, and it was still kind of like sticky and gummy. But it did like, it, it took away most of the residue, but it just left still kind of like this sticky gummy like look so i went back in with this with my 91 percent alcohol just to make sure all of the residue was gone and everything is gone there's no sticky or anything left on my uh head or scalp now i would say now testing testing this out for five days straight and only time my hair down for two days i would definitely say that this stuff works there is no doubt that it works well it worked for me i know i know it's different strokes for different different folks it's not gonna work the same for everybody else some people's gonna love it some people's gonna hate it hey everybody's you know not gonna like the same things that you like but for me for me it absolutely did work okay absolutely am i saying that it's completely waterproof now that i don't know because i didn't go swimming in it or anything that i didn't wash my whole head with the wig still on i don't know who's doing that but i didn't do that but i did get in the shower and it was exposed to moisture for three days straight and also when i wash my my face hair a uh, water was getting on that lace so take that for what it is but yeah it gives a really really good hold even after five days you guys saw when i first came on here 
on this side it was still stuck this side was lifting a bit but this side was stuck and i could still feel how strong it was i didn't have any problems with it like bleeding through the lace i I didn't have any problem with the drying. I didn't have any problems with any of that. It does have that strong hold like any other glue though. Um, as far as like it, it holds like strong like the I've tried other glues or whatever, they have this strong, like once you put the wig down, it's down. But this this was something a little different. It's got a strong hold, but I can tell that the formula formula is a bit different and I like it. I can honestly say I really like it. Uh, if you're going to wear your wigs for a while, I would definitely suggest this. Or at least try it out. Okay? It worked for me. Just give it a try. It's not too expensive. Um, I'll try to find some links to leave them down below. Just try to see how see how well it works for you. Like I said, I have the absolute. If you feel like you're going to be working out or doing something really, really strenuous, I would say try the firm. So anyways, yes, guys, it worked for me. Would I give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Me, personally, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. But at the same time, take these reviews for what they are. And all I can say is try it for yourself and just let me know how it works out for you. Leave some comments down, for, down below if you've liked it. If it didn't work out for you, let me know why it didn't work out for you. Or, you know, if you love it, let me know why you love it. If you haven't tried it yet, will you be trying it? So, anyways, that's just my review. And, uh, yeah, I'll definitely see you on my next one. Bye.